Hello everyone, we are in conversation today with Akansha Sharma, who heads the corporate social responsibility for us at STL. And we are talking to her about all the good work that her team is doing. Welcome to the show here, Akansha. Would you want to tell us a little bit about what you and your team are doing and why are you choosing to do some of those things? I think uh, this is definitely one of the most unprecedented times that uh, you know the entire human race is witnessing and perhaps we are witnessing in our lifetimes and uh, it's a very really tough situation for the community and uh, we are really trying to build some resilience out there uh, with the people especially the daily age workers and the water papers who are left stranded on the streets the entire team and I'm very proud to say this when I'm speaking that and uh, there have been a lot of uh, logistic issues when doing uh, these arrangements because most of these places as you would know are quite remote and uh, NGOs are not ready to go there most of the time so it's definitely a difficult time and but we are trying our best. So what are the core things that you are doing with your team and uh, how are you actually making sure that you're getting things done on the field? Yeah, so uh, we started with a holistic plan that we did for the community response, looking at the needs of the uh, people who are there in the community and trying to support the frontline workers uh, in the health and the police departments and uh, provide them with the PPEs, the equipments, uh, the, the gloves and the masks and also the ventilators uh, to most of the government hospitals because we are getting numerous uh, requests and uh, most of the hospitals do not have even a single ventilator in the rural areas and and uh, I think everybody uh, is going beyond the call of the duty to enable this entire support system. So any people from within or from outside of uh, you know your own teams that you would like to share some stories about what they have been doing, how they have been making an impact and also coming up with ideas in such an interesting time? You know Manish, it's so interesting that you ask this because uh, people uh, not only who belong to the company but also outside uh, they are coming up as invisible heroes and my entire team I think we all were awake and made sure that the supplies reach to the local uh, laborers out there, the support of the Maharashtra Corps, Maharashtra Administration, uh, CM Task Force. So I think what this crisis is also telling us and teaching us is a unique way to collaborate and develop solidarity at all levels, which is amazing. I mean, the spirit of those, each individual uh, is really inspiring. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's an interesting uh, time for us to all stand with each other. But uh, at the same time, it is also not just everyone who does it. Some people do start to shine. Some people do take responsibilities. Some stories actually show how, uh, you know, normal people can become heroes. So any story that you would want to relate or anyone you would want to Sure. So we have Shambhavi here and you know she leads our uh, women empowerment program. Shambhavi, would you like to speak about how women are responding to this from the community? They are so proactive. The moment like uh, we received this request of making masks 10 days back around evening and uh, we just floated a WhatsApp message that we have to make masks at our Jeevan Jyoti centers and uh, we understand that this is a crisis time and lockdown period and uh, you guys won't be able to come because in rural things are different, little challenging. There they are uh, certain other problems, family problems involved. We are ready to work from home as well. So likewise, we gathered around 10 women Two, uh, however, two were com working from center and uh, while eight were working from their respective homes and slowly we got permission for three more women. So it was something like, you know, entire family, like this crisis was all about uniting people and how uh, we park all our differences, everything aside and we united together for this cause. So that was definitely very overwhelming for me as a team and of course uh, a v wonderful experience uh, for me as well. Luet, anything you. else you would want to share that would be all our uh, colleagues would love to know about? Yeah, so uh, we had uh, quite a few contract laborers uh, in places like Gachiroli, Lakshadwe, Bandaman, where the regular NGO we were looking at uh, helping us with food distribution wasn't operating. 
because local authorities had uh, taken over or uh, ships with supplies had been stopped even uh, you know in the absence of the ngo operating their contractors um, as well as uh, reaching out to their um, caterer contacts and you know helping all provide food for these laborers we missed a little bit of what you said there but it seems like uh, you were able to provide food to a lot of contractors in different parts of the for cheese and I'll just uh, you know I think the government has also been instrumental in making sure that supplies reach out to people at some of the really remote locations and there have been every place had unique challenges Manish for example uh, there were no food uh, in Andaman we somehow really coordinated with the district administration out there and being a UD it had its own uh, challenges and uh, coordinating with them then uh, same as with Lakshwadi because STL operates incidentally at some of really remote places. You mentioned Lakshwadi, Andaman, you mentioned Gachiroli. This is literally, you know, we are standing with uh, people in all parts of the country, right? It's a really commendable job. What are some of the things that you are learning through this experience uh, that you would like to make sure that you are better at handling these things in the future? What, how are we becoming better uh, at doing this? One thing which I would really like to highlight and I've deeply realized it myself that STL stands for transforming everyday living and uh, we don't just stand by it uh, during normal course of business but even during such types of crisis which, which are uh, you know unique and once in a lifetime uh, I think that makes the spirit of Stella in a, in a unique way and I'm really very proud of that team here is actually showing the way not just by working together from within the company but also by working with cops and healthcare workers and and sometimes the people that we have been helping are people that are helping us back that is the community that we are seeing and it's uh, so great to hear your stories and uh, we will be sharing this with the uh, folks at Trophy Company keep up uh, the good work and let's be in touch thank you guys thank you thank you